Hey, let's get some coffee before class, okay? Oh, no, what's the point of even going to class? Because otherwise we have to go to war. <laughs> I am at war, Corey. I'm at war with myself. Why am I like I am? Sean, listen, you, you just gotta relax, okay? Hey guys, buy coffee? What are you trying to say? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, hey guys, buy a coffee? <laughs> I can afford my own coffee. Yeah, I know you can, Sean. I was just offering. So, when you leaving? You know, that shows you how much you know. I just got offered the best job I ever had dealing blackjack in Vegas. But you didn't hear me say I was gonna take it, did you? I didn't hear you turn it down. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm just keeping my options open. That is so like you. You always do this over and over and over again. You come into town, you make all these promises, and just when I think we're actually gonna get close, you take off again. Oh my God, I'm you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that I, I can't keep a relationship. I drive all my friends away. I hurt everybody I care about. Hey, Sean, come on, take it easy, huh? No, this doesn't concern you. Yeah, he's my father too, okay? For hours is a love unlike any or been or ever will be again. What I feel for you transcends love itself as two souls become one on this, our wedding day. Oh, this is really beautiful, but uh, I think I'd rather wait until our wedding day to hear your vows. Those aren't my vows, those are your vows. <laughs> uh, Topanga, I, I appreciate your input, but don't you think I can write my own wedding vows? You're right. Why don't you try? Okay. Sometimes two people who love each other are in love. <laughs> and because of that love, they love each other. <laughs> All right, you write the vows. Okay, now, regarding our wedding night. Topanga. Bermuda. I'll call you whatever you want. Okay, we're gonna honeymoon in Bermuda. It's the perfect climate, fabulous food, and just about the best darn snorkeling this side of anywhere. But I don't wanna be in the ocean. I wanna be in the room, a lot. Well, why are you so obsessed with sex? Because I don't get any. <laughs> Matthews, telephone. Hold that thought. Is it my patient little Corey cute? Oh, he's not gonna be so cute when his patient little head explodes. <laughs> Sean's father had a heart attack. Listen, Dad, I wanted to talk to you about what I was saying back at the apartment. Oh my God, oh my God. Hey, he's asleep again. Good. Sleep is good. You know, this is probably gonna sound crazy, but this whole ordeal could be a, a blessing in disguise. Why would you say that? He's gonna have to slow down, right? So maybe he'll stick around for a while. Jack, the second he gets out of here, he's going straight to Vegas. Don't say that, because you don't know. No, I do know. I know him. I am him. You're not, Sean. Yes, I am. Why can't I get close to anybody in my life? I'm exactly like him. Look at, you, look at you and me, we're brothers, right? We're not close at all. Hey. How are you guys holding up? Fine, I'll be fine. Thanks for coming down, Mr. and Mrs. Matthews. Mr. Feeney. Boys, take all the time you need. Don't worry about school. Just take care of your dad and yourselves. Yeah, and you know that if you need to talk, we're here. John? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. 